Next, Mechanical Engineering 49, Deepayon Roy, 2021, MEB 049, Deepayon Roy. Next, Metallurgy 330, 2021, MMB 030, Vikram Ji Chakravorty, Vikram Ji Chakravorty. Okay, I have called only the absent roll numbers. That means the other students are present whose names I did not call. Those students are present. Is it clear? I have called only the absent roll numbers. The remaining students are present. Okay. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma audible. Okay, okay, okay. Again, I, I am telling you, the students who are trying actually to join to other males, it is not allowed. It is not allowed. And so I have to deny this entry. It is not allowed as per rule in our institute. Only you have to join to G suit males. Okay. Repeatedly, I have told you, please follow this instruction. Okay, I will teach ordinary differential equation. Okay, I think, uh, have you seen the syllabus in the website or somewhere or some other faculty has given? Have you seen the syllabus? No, ma'am. 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 Ma'am, please no, mail us the syllabus. Ma'am, please do mail us the syllabus. Okay, I will send this. Uh, I I will send this. Not now, but I will send this. Okay, don't worry. I okay, will send. It. Thank you. Arju has joined late. Okay, I. I am now giving you attendance through chat. You have sent, okay. EV59 has joined, okay. The students who have joined late, they have sent their attendance to chat box. But the other students are not required to send your attendance to chat box. Mining 26. Why, Vicky, you have sent your attendance to chat box? It will create a lot of problems. Only the students who have joined late just now, they are absent. They may send their uh, attendance to chat box, but I think they may tell. Tell me, not required to send the, your attendance to chat box. It creates a lot of problems. It is not possible to check all these things simultaneously. Tell me if someone has joined that. Uh, Ma'am, I joined late. Am I Mark present? I'm Anubhav. IT, IT. 057. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I am checking okay then after that okay ma'am thank you yes Anubhav you are present you have joined late but you are you are present thank you ma'am after checking second time I have given your attendance okay now I I start I will send you syllabus 
I think some students have requested me. Okay, I will send it, but not now. Now I will share a screen. Is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I think you will uh, immediately you select your peer so that he or she uh, make uh, may actually contact us. Ma'am, I am up for it. Like, if anyone else have no issues, I can be the CR right now. Hmm. Sorry. Tell me, please. I can be the CR if anyone else has no issues with it. Uh, yes, but you have to decide within yourself. I am the outsider because. <laughs> no, ma'am, you are our teacher. Like, <laughs> you are not an outsider. Actually, the teacher. Um, I have no problem. Just I can tell you. But uh, the students uh, uh, will decide. No, ma'am. No one will have any issues since we cannot decide so soon. So let him exactly. be here. There will be another who, first. Who might be here? Yes, ma'am. We are in good communication with each other. Yes, yes, yes. That is absolutely. actually, ma'am. I was a uh, head boy in my school also, so I I have experience with all these things. So let him be this here. No issues. Okay, let him be. Yeah, yeah, we'll let him after the class. No problem. Yes, yes. I think we will decide after. Yes, ma'am. We'll do all the. I think I think two, two, two. I think two maybe. Uh, yes, I, 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 I will not tell you. Yes, ma'am. You, you. We'll let after the class. No problem. Okay, after that you decide. Okay. But, yes, ma'am. Sure. Uh, I think I have given I have given you my contact number and I request you please you send the uh, contact number of here. If once here, that is okay. If two, you, if you decide two, then you please uh, send me through SMS or through mail. Okay, ma'am. Let's continue. Okay, ma'am. Okay, that may help me as well as you. Yes, ma'am. Help me to help you. Okay. Okay. Now you see the screen. Now I will start my topic. All of you. Please mute your sound system. There is some noise. Now it is again. There is some noise. I think. Uh, Okay, I have muted. Okay, now you see the screen. You see linear differential equation. You see the linear differential equation of this form. This is actually nth order. Nth order. N means is highest order derivative involved in this differential equation this is an nth order differential equation 
and here the coefficients are p1 p2 pn all these are p1 p2 pn all these are either functions of x or constants this p1 p2 pn these are either functions of x or constants the right side capital x is a function of x only okay this right side function capital x is some function of x but in some problems you may observe constant also so these equation is called linear differential equation and the order of this linear differential equation is n most important thing this coefficients p1 p2 pn these are either functions of x or constants these are important in this context okay and you see if p1 p2 pn these are all constants they are not functions of x then we say this is a linear differential equation with constant coefficients constant coefficients means p1 p2 etc up to pn these are all constants then it is called linear differential equation with constant coefficients okay now here we use this symbol capital d as an operator for ddx ddx is replaced by this operator d and so d square will represent d2 dx2 and similarly dn will represent dn dxn that means capital d stands for d dx and for this reason d square for d2 dx2 and d for n for dn dxn if we use this symbols then this differential equation you see this differential equation may be written as first you see you can write dn dx n so capital d power n y then capital p1 dn minus 1 y because d dx stands for capital d and so it is order is n minus 1 so it should be written as dn minus 1 y plus p2 dn minus 2 y finally it is p n y equals to capital x so it looks like this it looks like this okay all this operator operate on y okay now you see a theorem now the statement of the theorem is this if y equals to y1 y equals to y2 Uh, and y equals to y n. These are all linearly independent solutions of the above differential equation. Actually, we have written the differential equation again. This you see, this is linear differential equation where capital D stands for d dx. Any other linear differential equation is denoted by number one. Okay, and y one, y two, etc. Up to y n. These are all. linearly independent solutions of this differential equation then it can be proved that y equals to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 up to cn yn is also a solution of the same differential equation 1 y equals to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 up to cn yn is the general or complete solution of the differential equation 1 you know if it is a general solution then already you have observed in the previous classes that number of arbitrary constants you see how many constants are there c1 c2 cn that is number of arbitrary constants in this solution is n which is equal to the order of the differential equation in that case this is called the general solution or complete solution if the number of arbitrary constants is same as the order of the differential equation so if the order of the differential equation is this number 1 just you see this is equation number 1 the order of the differential equation is n and you see the solution c1 y1 plus c2 y2 up to cn yn this will be called the general or complete solution of the differential equation but we are to prove this that this is the solution of equation number 
here C1, C2, C n, these are all arbitrary constants and you have already observed that number of arbitrary constants is n, which is same as the order of the differential equation. And this solution is called the general solution or complete solution of the differential equation 1. Now we have to prove this, that this is a solution. We first observe that the differential equation is given by this one. You may write this as, because this is function of d. You see, this is the, this contains different parts of d. So it is a function of d. So you may write f d operating on y equals to 0 like this. And you know f d means this. This is f d which is actually function of d only like this f d equals to this. Now you see here it is given that y equals to y1 is a solution of this differential equation. Similarly, y equals to y2 is also a solution. y equals to yn is also a solution. So, each of this will satisfy this differential equation numbered 1. Because each of this is a solution means each of them will satisfy this differential equation 1. So, you may write if y equals to y1 if y equals to y1 is a solution of the differential equation f d y equals to 0, then y1 should satisfy this differential equation. So, you may replace y by y1 because it is a solution of this differential equation. So, you can write f d y1 equals to 0. Similarly, y equals to y2 is a solution of this differential equation. So, f d y2 equals to 0. Again, y equals to y n is also a solution of this differential equation. And so, f d y n equals to 0, like this you see, call this equation number 2. But we have to verify whether this y equals to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 up to c n y1 is also a solution. How can we prove this? If we can show that this y equals to this satisfies this equation, f d y equals to 0, that means it satisfies this equation. 1, then we can say that this is a solution of equation 1. That means we have to replace y by this c1 y1 plus c2 y2 up to cn yn. If y is replaced by this and obtain 0 on the right side, that means the equation 1 is satisfied by y equals to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 up to cn yn. So we have to replace y by c1 y1 plus c2 y2 up to cn yn in on the left side of 1, just like this. dn, this, just y is replaced by this. That means dn y plus a1 dn minus 1 y plus a2 dn minus 2 y like this. This is actually left side. So you see dn y plus a1 dn minus 1 y, a n d, you see, a n y, you see. Here you see n a n y. Actually, if you just uh, use this operator on y, then what happens? D n y plus a one d n minus one y plus a two d n minus two y up to a n y up to a n y. Okay, so this looks like this. D n y plus a one d n minus one y. Y means here C1, Y1 plus C2, Y2 up to Cn, Yn, like this. Now, you just simplify. If you take common C1, C1 is there, Dn, Y1. In the second expression, you see C1, A1, Dn minus 1, Y1. So, if we take common C1, then other term is A1, Dn minus 1, Y1, like this. In the last expression, you see, this is C1, A, N, Y1. So by taking common C1, it remains A, N, Y1. Similarly, if we take common C2 from the second terms in each of these bracketed terms, like this C2, D, N, Y2. Here C2, A2, C2, D, N minus 1, Y2, like this. So we combine all the terms containing C2. And next you combine all the terms containing C, N, like this. Cn into this. All the terms containing Cn will be added here. Okay, so that means uh, we have rearranged this term by taking common C1, 
then take common C2, then take common Cn. And then you see first dn y1 plus a1 dn minus 1 y1 up to n y1, which is actually f d y1. The second expression within bracket is f d y2. The last expression within parenthesis is f d y n, which we have seen this f d y1, f d y2, f d y n. Each of them is 0. So f d y1 is 0, f d y2 is 0, f d y n is 0. So finally, we get 0. Zero. So equation 1 is satisfied. This equation 1 is satisfied by y equals to this c1y1 plus c2y2 up to cnyn. Okay. And so this is a solution of 1. Okay. And why is it called general solution? Because this solution contains n arbitrary constant. And so it is called the general or complete solution of the equation. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma okay. If you face any difficulty, you please contact me because sometimes it is not known to me whether I am connected or not when I am okay. on the screen. Okay. Ma'am, please share your mobile number, then it will be very easy with us. I, I think you have joined late. I have already uh, sent my email, my email, mobile as well as my email ID to all through chat box. I think you have joined late, and so you. It is okay, not okay, ma'am. I get it. I get it. Your mail ID. I get it. Mail ID as well as contact number, mobile number, everything. Yes, I, ma I, I get it. Ma'am, will you be sharing this PDF with us? Hmm? Yes. Will you be sharing? Yes, okay. I will share it. When it will be finished, I will share it. Okay. So do we have to note down anything as of now? Uh, not, not this point. What, what do you want now? Like, do we have to make class notes as of now? Always, always. Okay, I will send you this class material. What I am sharing, I will send it. Okay, that means this is suppose course material number one. Suppose this is first day's class. Here, it will be discussed. I will discuss everything. After finishing this course material, just this course material, I will send it. It may happen that sometimes it, it takes one day or two days. Okay, if it is finished within one day, then I will just send it after uh, one day. At the end of the week, I usually send this course material to all the students. Don't worry, I will send everything what I, 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 I will uh, actually uh, share here on the screen i will send it don't worry okay ma'am thank you material will be sent to all of you all of you okay okay ma'am. usually at the end of the week i send because uh, sometimes i check uh, some if, if there are any typographical errors sometimes it is uh, it, it, it is uh, seen after class that there is some uh, typographical error. After taking this, I send it. Okay? Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Just you concentrate on my topic. After that, you will get everything. Okay. Now you see, actually today you have some uh, program. So I will continue or stop here now. Ma'am, it's at 3.50. You can continue. Okay, 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 okay. Then I continue till 3.20. Okay, okay, I continue. Okay, now you see auxiliary equation. What is it? You see, already we have discussed this differential equation, linear differential equation, where capital D is an operator, all things, all these things already we have discussed here. And you see A1, A2, A N, these are all constants. And now assume that y equals c to the power m x be a solution of this differential equation 1. This is actually trial solution of this equation 1. You know, if y equals c to the power m x be a solution, then if you put y here, e to the power m x, you have to compute dn y, dn minus 1 y, dn minus 2 y, d square y, dy, etc. Et all this all these should be used here 
okay that means you are to assume this y equals e to the power mx as a trial solution of equation one then we put these values in this differential equation one then what we get you see we will get this just you differentiate that means you compute dy dx then second order derivative of y with respect to x then third order derivative of y with respect to x finally you have to compute any other derivative of e to the power mx and we get this derivatives and then you put these values here in equation number one and then you obtain this equation containing m m containing m then this you see this product of this is zero but you see exponential this e to the power mx is non-zero so it will be a solution this means this m to the power n plus a1 m to the power n minus 1 plus a2 m to the power n minus 2 up to n equals to 0. Okay, this equation is called auxiliary equation. This equation is called containing m is called the auxiliary equation. In short, it is written as a dot e. Now you see this auxiliary equation, how to obtain this auxiliary equation very easily. Just you observe this if you use this operator d then you see this is nothing but d is replaced by m but this is the this is the method how to obtain this auxiliary equation this is shortcut you see just if you replace d by m then you will obtain this but this is the method for finding auxiliary equation where we have assumed that y equals e to the power mx we consider this as a trial solution then we put this values of the derivatives in this equation and obtain this product equals to zero and since this e to the power mx is non-zero so this equals to zero which is called the auxiliary equation and now you see this since this is an auxiliary equation there exist some cases depending on the roots of the auxiliary equation what are the cases? First case, when all the roots of the auxiliary equation are real and distinct. Second case, you see, where auxiliary equation will have equal roots. In the third case, you may observe that auxiliary equation will have complex roots. These are the cases we are to consider. First case, where the auxiliary equation will have real and distinct roots. Okay, suppose the roots are m1, m2, m, n. You see here, order of the differential equation was n and here the degree of the auxiliary equation is n. You see n, this is the degree of this differential equation number two, which is called auxiliary equation. And so this equation will have n roots, n roots. And suppose all the roots are real and distinct. So we may choose, the roots as m1, m2, mn, because here the variable is m, m, variable is m, m is the unknown. We have to find out the values of m. And so, let us assume the roots of this differential, sorry, roots of this algebraic equation, actually it is auxiliary equation. Let us assume that the roots of this equation number two be this, m1, m2, mn, which are all distinct, real and distinct. So you see y equals e to the power m on x is a solution. Again, y equals e to the power m to x is a solution. Y equals e to the power m and x. All are independent solutions of equation number one. And already according to the previous theorem, we have just proved that y equals to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 up to cn y1 is the general solution of this given differential equation. Okay, now you see, you see we have obtained this auxiliary equation, then we have found the, we have computed actually the roots of the auxiliary equation, which are all real and distinct. In the first case, all roots are real and distinct, and the roots are chosen as this m1, m2, mn. Actually, in the problem, you have to find out the roots. If they are real and distinct, then you use this formula. You see, these are all independent solutions of the equation number one. And so you see, using the previous theorem, we have just proved that this C1 
this plus C2 into this Y2 up to Cn Yn, Y equals to C1 Y1 plus C2 Y2 up to Cn Yn is also a solution. And this is the general solution of the given differential equation because here the number of arbitrary constants is N, which is same as the order of the differential equation. So in the first case, where all the roots of the auxiliary equation are real and distinct, the solution should be of this form, y equals to c1 e to the power m1x plus c2 e to the power m2x up to cn e to the power mnx, where c1, c2, cn are n arbitrary constants and m1, m2, mn, these are actually real and distinct roots of the auxiliary equation. Just you see this problem, application of this problem is this, solve this differential equation. You see this, just we compute derivative of y with respect to x, second order derivative, because you see third order derivative is required, second order derivative is required, first order derivative is required. So you have computed all these derivatives and then you have put the values of these derivatives in this differential equation and obtain this. And since this e to the power mx is non-zero, so this, this algebraic equation equals to zero. Just resolve into linear factors and obtain this. You see all these roots are real and distinct. And so the general solution should be of this form. You see y equals to c1 e to the power m1x plus c2 e to the power mk up to cn e to the power mnx, like this, like this, you see. Since the roots are real and distinct, the general solution is this, where C1, C2, C3 are arbitrary constants. Let us stop here today. Stop sharing now. And I leave now. I will take uh, only once in a week, that is Tuesday. Uh, is there any student? Who, who was telling something? Electronic certified was trying to say something. Electronic thirty-five. We have joined. Okay. Okay. Like leave now. I have a question. Uh, can I ask? Tell me. Yes, sir. so we got the method of the auxiliary equation. So, ma'am, can we solve every linear differential equation by using the auxiliary equation method? No, 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 no. There is no such method that any any problem can be solved by one method. There exist so many methods in your method. Method is so strong. There is no such method that always you can use one method. By just learning one method, you cannot solve all problems. Yes, sir. Okay, it is not possible to solve any type of problems by just uh, learning one method. Yes. Okay. okay. Sometimes it is not an easy task to solve this different. There are so many methods. In different situations, you have to apply different methods. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. If it is possible to solve this uh, into linear factors, then it is, uh, I, I think it will be easy to use it. Oh, yeah. Yes, we are going to explore with the procedure. Okay. Yes. In, in, in your level, I think the problem which will be uh, given to you, it is possible to resolve into factors. And if you can factorize this, then you can use this method. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, do we have to solve only? Okay. Do we have to solve only? 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 There is some problem. Is it... May I leave now? I leave. Hmm. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, 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 ma'am. Thank you,